The Lost City of Atlantis, one of history's greatest and most enduring mysteries. Was it a real place, a myth, or something in between? For centuries, this story has fascinated explorers, historians, and dreamers alike. Let's dive into the legend and explore the theories that surround it. The story of Atlantis originates with the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. Around 360 BCE, Plato described Atlantis in his dialogues to Meus and Critias. He spoke of an advanced civilization that existed 9,000 years before his time. According to him, Atlantis was a vast island beyond the Pillars of Hercules, often interpreted as the Strait of Gibraltar. It was a utopia with immense wealth, advanced technology, and a powerful navy. But its people grew corrupt, and as punishment, the gods destroyed Atlantis, sinking it beneath the sea in a single day and night. Plato's account raises the question, was he describing a real place or simply using a fictional story to convey a moral lesson? Many scholars believe Atlantis was an allegory for human hubris and the dangers of unchecked power, but that hasn't stopped people from trying to find it. Over the centuries, countless theories have emerged about Atlantis's possible location. One of the most popular theories ties Atlantis to the island of Santorini, also known as Thera. Around 1600 BCE, a massive volcanic eruption wiped out much of the Minoan civilization, an advanced society in the Aegean Sea. This natural disaster aligns with Plato's description of a powerful city destroyed by catastrophe. Others suggest Atlantis could be in the Caribbean, pointing to underwater formations near Bimini, known as the Bimini Road. Some even speculate it might be hidden in the Sahara Desert, referring to geological formations like the Rikhat structure, also called the Eye of the Sahara. Another theory connects Atlantis to Antarctica. Proponents argue that shifting tectonic plates moved a once temperate landmass to its current frozen state, burying any evidence of an ancient civilization beneath the ice. Modern scientists remain skeptical. Many believe Plato's account was purely fictional, inspired by events like the collapse of the Minoan civilization or earlier oral traditions of natural disasters. However, the lack of definitive evidence hasn't diminished public fascination with the story. Atlantis has transcended Plato's writings to become a symbol of humanity's search for lost knowledge and our longing for hidden worlds. Whether it's a real place, a misunderstood historical event, or simply a cautionary tale, the legend of Atlantis continues to spark curiosity and debate. What do you think? Is Atlantis just a myth? Or could there be truth behind the legend? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more stories that bridge the gap between history and myth.